mention now uh, about an event that happens at the end of every month up at the Mason County Senior Activity Center. We're talking with Dan Gagnon about Bingo Karaoke. Good morning. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for coming in and talking to me about this. Oh, anytime. Last Friday of every month, people gather up at the Senior Activity Center and they start playing bingo. They start singing songs. And it's been three years now. It's been three years. Yeah, we started. Uh, yeah, three years ago, Oz Johnson and, our, and myself uh, saw a thing on TV about bingo karaoke in Seattle, and uh, it looked like a lot of fun. So we went and checked it out, and uh, yeah, three years, and we we are the only ones in the state that are doing bingo karaoke besides the uh, senior center in Seattle. So talk to me about a little bit of how this works. Do you have? Is it? Uh, singer, 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 you draw some numbers, you draw some numbers, and then you'll have a singer? Or? Oh, my gosh. Well, doors open at 6, starts at 7, and uh, it's it's crazy because now people have to get there uh, uh, before 7 because the whole parking lot just fills up. And what's really exciting is that uh, it's a community. It's not just for the seniors. And that was a hard thing at first. So uh, if you notice, we, we always advertise... Uh, bingo karaoke at the Shelton Pavilion, yeah. just because it's a mindset thing. And and so in the last year and a half, we see probably a third of the people uh, that are 50 or under. Whoa, okay. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. So it's, a, it's more of a community event now. Nice. So yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you have themes every month. I'm we guessing do. this one's Halloween. Three years ago, we started, uh, I think we started in September, but when we hit Halloween and people started showing up with costumes, it was amazing. It was a full house, and we thought, you know what? Let's do themes, Mm -hmm. and people like to dress up. Sure they do. And this month, Halloween, which starts tomorrow for the uh, bingo karaoke, even though Halloween is, is until next Monday. Oh, come on. People uh, dress up for like a there week. There you go. Yeah. Uh, people have been emailing me saying, hey, I got this uh, on eBay. I got this costume. <laughs> I mean, they're just going crazy. And so it's it's just a lot of fun. It sounds like a lot of fun. And uh, talk to me about some of the logistics. You said the doors open at 6, at mm-hmm. 7. Is there a cost associated with this? Yeah. Well, this is... I think the reason why this is so popular is because it's very affordable. Uh, as you know, Mason County is one of the highest uh, unemployment uh, counties, I believe, in the state of Washington. So we make it affordable. It's There's no really entry fee, but when you walk in, you pay $10, you get eight bingo sheets, well, uh, paper bingo sheets, uh, and then if you want to play the 50-50, we have two 50-50s a night, um, and you pay additional for that. But it's like a dollar a ticket or five dollars, you get six tickets. Right. So it's very affordable. We have You have to be 21 or over. Uh, we have had some people say, oh, I want to bring my daughter. Yeah, well, she's only 16. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, the reason why it's got to be 21 and over is because we have beer, we have wine. Well, that helps with we the have singing, hard drinks, sure, too. And we have jello shots. <laughs> what? <laughs> and so some of the people that show oh, up at first, you know, I'm not going to sing. Halfway through the night, okay, where, okay what do I sign, sign up? up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's so. do the love shack, <laughs> you and me. <laughs> no kidding. This is so much. <laughs> now, how do you square? Because I did, I used to do karaoke, and I know how uh, rabid the fan base is for that. I also know how rabid the fan base is for bingo. So, is it a hard kind of, hey, we're trying to play bingo over here? Well, hey, we're trying to sing over here. Do people come, you know, with their troll dolls and their daubers, and they want to make sure there's enough space, and the singers are being, or how does that work? All right, when we checked out the uh, the facility in Seattle, how they did it, and they, they they gave us a heads up, like, okay, here's the deal: you're going to have people show up at first that are just super super bingo players only. Right. You're going to have other people show up that are super super. All they want to do is sing. Right. And so you're going to lose some people. So our first year, I'd always mention right at the beginning, if you are a serious bingo player, you probably don't want to be here. <laughs> if you are a serious karaoke player, uh, singer, you do not want to be here. No. Th- and if you notice, it says bingo karaoke sure. party. Yeah. Because it's a party atmosphere. We don't have that problem anymore. Good. So, but the first, the first, that first year, we had people that had their arms folded. I bet. You know, and they go, "What is this?" But now the word's out. You just want to go there and have fun. 
It's just a kick. And, you know, we, we really encourage people to sing along when you do karaoke. Mm-hmm. And to answer your question earlier, uh, why don't we start out with Sweet Caroline? Classic. And we have everybody sing along with Classic. it. Uh, so I started out, and then we get, and then we get, it, get everybody into the mood. And then we'll do a couple bingles. Mm-hmm. We have a sign-up sheet for... Uh, uh, to sing a song, right? So we have these. Uh, we have over uh, eight hundred songs to, nice. to select from. So turn it into the uh, karaoke person, and then they look at it and they go, "Okay, now we have Jeff from Shelton, Washington." And so, yeah, and, and we encourage everybody to sing along. Everybody just—it's just a party. It's so much fun. It just gets a little louder that last hour. Oh, I bet. I don't. You know why? Sure, <laughs> sure, I do. That's why it's what twenty-one and over. But we have. We also have uh, raffle drawings. So if you come in. Since you come in and pay your ten dollars, uh, you also get a raffle ticket, free free raffle okay. ticket. Okay. But you get another raffle ticket if you are wearing anything that resembles that costume the for theme. the month. S- and so we'll throughout the night we'll we'll draw. Out. We have some really cool raffle drawings. We have like Steph's espresso twenty five dollar oh, gift certificate. Good, yeah. We have Home Meats uh, gift certificate for uh, twenty dollars. And so. That's just a couple, and we have some other things, too. So it, we just make it – we try to give back to the community. You know, I retired uh, five years ago, and I go, okay, what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. And I was approached and asked, hey, is there any way you, – you have any ideas on how we can make some money for the senior center? And it's funny because just the day before that, we saw this thing on TV about bingo karaoke. So I presented it to them and said, hey, could you go check it out? Three years later, here we are. Still going strong. Oh, it's going really strong. Yeah. And, of course, it doesn't work unless you have volunteers. Yeah. None of us get paid for this. Oh, fun. Good uh, for you. Which is great. So, you know, if I, it, once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll tell a joke, right? Uh-huh. Sometimes the joke might be a little little edgy, and uh, I always tell people, hey, what are you going to do, fire me? Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm volunteer. Yeah, I'm volunteer. <laughs> I do what I, I'll do what I want. That's uh, awesome. So, uh, What's the range of songs? So you said Sweet Caroline, that's a classic. Oh, uh, gosh. The we, traditionals, any new songs? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. I, uh, what what happened, What I do is I, I go onto this site, and I and I always find out some of the more popular songs, and then I'll, uh, I'll download them, or pay for them, yeah, yeah. and then they'll send them to me, use it about a week. So we have so we have uh, uh, newer songs. We have old. We got the old Johnny Cash, but we've got a lot of the standard songs too. One of the songs that seems to be really popular is "Wagon Wheel" by Darius Rucker, and uh, you know uh, Bob oh, yeah, Dylan yeah. actually co-wrote that song. Really? Yeah, with oh, I didn't old, know that. old Crow Medicine. Uh, uh, what was that band? Old Crow, Old Crow Medicine, I think it's called. Anyway. Um, yeah, uh, so it, it it's uh, people come in and they want, you know, they they have their own songs already picked out. Sometimes it, they'll come in with their own CD. Sure, sure. And because and they want make you have to go dr- I need two drops down on pitch. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because somebody will say, "Hey, I'll, well, I can do this song," and then when they play the karaoke version. It might be a different key, yeah. And they, they go, uh-oh. I don't know. I don't know. So the the more serious singer usually will they bring in their own CD, yeah, because they're f- familiar with sure. that, you know, key. What's so. fun? Well, it's a good time had by all, and it goes until when in the evening? Yeah, well, like doors open at six, starts at seven, uh, gets over at ten. Okay. So for the younger people, after ten o'clock, they don't go home. No. But the they just leave there. Yeah, the the rest of the people, the old elderly, <laughs> uh, they'll go home. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, ten o'clock after a night of bingo and karaoke. Yeah, how do you spent. Well, we, we you know we're talking to Mason uh, Transit people right now to see if there's a possibility that they could actually bus because there's a lot of uh, the elderly people that would love to go, especially in wintertime, but uh-huh. it gets dark so early oh, and awful. they have a hard time driving. Yeah. Um, so we're working on that. See if we can. Sounds like a lot of fun. It yeah. is tomorrow night at the uh, uh, Pavilion. Pavilion, which is a AKA Senior the Center. The Senior Center there for a little bingo karaoke, uh, karaoke hosted by Dan Ganyan there. And you'll have a lot of chances to play bingo, sing songs, have fun. Win prizes. Win prizes and dress up for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's a kick. I like it. Dan, thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you, Jeff. Have fun tomorrow night. It's 7.30 now at iFiber One News Radio. After a long day, there's nothing.